Hey guys, Wise Guy here, and I've just figured out that the Winfield Musk is actually pretty darn good. Um, it's actually probably one of the most underrated weapons in the game. And why it is so underrated is because a lot of people don't like the sway factor that comes along with the Winfield Musket. I will say this, the, in my opinion, and this is maybe just me using Winfields all the time because I am a Winfield main, the Winfield is Winfield Musket sway is very negligible compared to the other ones in my opinion it does have 82 percent handling that is a five percent difference between let's say a swift or a normal windfield but it still is pretty good it still, it still has really, really good handling and the sway is not that bad you know due to contrary belief Another thing as well is you have a one shot in your back pocket if someone's close enough. As you can see the heavy melee damage is 168, meaning that if you stab somebody in the chest they will likely go down in one hit. So that's why I believe the Winfield Musket is severely underrated within the Winfield family. It's possibly one of the best guns in the game. Um, I would, if this was sort of like a tier list. I'll give it an A+, plus, maybe an S, just because it is a Winfield, um, so automatically it has a good rate of fire, it's a good suppression weapon, um, has a decent, you know, effective range to it. It holds 18 rounds within the Winfield, and it does have that one-shot factor to it. And if you're lucky enough, and if your stamina bar can handle it, you can get two kills in a row. And here's an example of that. You said one northeast, is that right? Yeah. And yeah. then two southeast? One. Okay. So it's two up right now. See one? Yeah, he's pushed in. He was at this white house. That's the guy you just heard in the water. The guy you shot at. And yeah, now he's getting shot at by a fucking the bell. There's two up near you. There's one more near you. I killed them both. Musket them. So as you can see, the potential for this weapon is very, very good. But you have to play somewhat aggressive and you have to play smart. The perks that I use for this weapon are mainly levering, just in case you get into a situation where running full force at somebody doesn't really work out too well. You may just want to just throw some rounds down at the person, make them either either you can straight up just kill them or they just backpedal to which you can follow it up with a charge. Iron Repeater, this is always a good one. I still believe Iron Repeater is probably the best perk for a windfield other than levering. Just simply because the fire rate, long range battles, or just medium range battles, because you're using the windfield, it's super, super good. And of course, Silent Kill. Silent Killer is, I would say, a, I would say is probably a perk that you want to get very quickly, especially if you're using a Winfield bayonet. Um, if you do have the points to get it, um, definitely, definitely, definitely get it. I would probably say get Iron Repeater and Silent Killer, and if you want to drop Leaving, you can. But the reason why that you want Silent Killer is because noise is a factor in this game. So if you charge up your melee, people can hear that. I can hear that in walls. I can hear that just if I'm relatively close to you. I don't have I don't have to be right up on you to hear you breathing in, getting ready for a charge. That's why Silent Killer is very very good on bayonet. Most people don't know what you're doing whenever you are charging up the melee with this perk on. So I'd say this is definitely a stippling. Stippling? Stippling? Um, for the one to a bayonet. So, here's some gameplays for you guys for the one to a bayonet. I still think it's one of the most underrated out of the Winfoot family. I dare say it is possibly top three within the Winfoot family. Um, of course, the Winfield Swift is probably the best weapon in the game right now, still, especially since FMJ rounds are a thing. Um, 
as far as the loadout that I usually throw on this, I usually go for a conversion pistol, just a normal conversion. Um, if I do want to throw FMJ, I can. Um, the tools that I use, of course, med kit is a must have. The knuckle knife, I'm beginning to think is the, well, I'm not starting to be it, it is the best metal weapon in the game right now because it's so versatile. Choke bombs for those duos and trios matches that we have. Tomahawk. Tomahawks are becoming very, very good now uh, because now they can one shot horses, so they're a really, really good way of. Taking out those sound traps. Vitality shot. Of course, everyone knows what a vitality shot does. I always carry one weak one. There's no need to carry two, in my opinion. This, as far as the matches that I have. I always feel like a weak vitality shot is good. I may even change it up to where I only need to carry just... You know, maybe two or three of these now. Um, it restores 75. So if you use your vitality shot well... You can save some money, and you can basically restore all your health back up. You still have to regen just a little bit, but that's fine because you can just stick yourself and go. Just run away. Wax dynamite stick. Uh, if I'm going against people who use choke bombs, or if I'm myself who is using choke bombs, you usually want to carry a dynamite, just a wax dynamite stick, so that it doesn't go out, and I can actually throw it at people and create more pressure. And of course, the firebomb, um, or the Molotov, still good, I think. Burning is kind of meta, but it's kind of not, because you can just infinitely just res people, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I still think burning people's bodies, even if, the, even if you're fighting a bounty team, is still important, because it still leaves that person one shot no matter what. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the footage. And um, if you enjoy today's content, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell button. It really helps me out. Anyways, all right, see you guys there. Holy shit. Uh, Hive Witch, I think, went down. He fucking headshot me, but I'm safe. I'm coming. 100 meter headshot with a um, iron sights Mosin. Oh, good shot. Mm. Oh, there's someone near here, dude. Scanning. Yeah, I got one close to me throwing a grenade. So you see him right there? Good one. Yep. I think that was a guy. Was it a yeah, girl with a red vest? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so you picked up the bounty on my body. You're insane for this, by the way. Why the fuck are they not covering it? Hit him once. 
He's Where? so one. Oh, behind that hay bale. I can't ping it. Oh, dude. The close one? Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Yep. Fuck. Hit him. Got him. Thanks. Yo, anyone else having frame issues? Hello. One dead. There's a red shirt up here somewhere. Kane over here. He's in my blind spot. He's rotating far left right now. Hit him once. Hit him twice. He's dead. Right here. You hear him running around. Coming around this corner. Oh, coming back this way. One of them has bees on him. I have bees. Tagged one. Fuck. Over there, there's two over by the corner of the house. They have bees and a meat head on. They're both right there, uh, like 345. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, I see him. Just one on the roof. He's up on the roof. Another one, 345, or 15, 30-ish. Let me watch our flank over here. Uh, we need to push back inside and get the fucking bounty. Scan. There are uh, two of them over there. I, don't, I didn't see a third one. Both were 240-ish. How you going? On the fence now. Got one. Come on, scan. There's another uh, one on the wood. One guy right 255, one guy 255, and one guy 180. Ping. Never mind, I see him. Behind these trees. Got her. Good. There's one more somewhere. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me. Right here. Killed him. Nice. Well, let's go, boys.